Hey guys, today we're out here and we're gonna be working on the rally art. We gotta pull the torque damper out of the old transmission because we gotta get it rebuilt. All right, let's get into it. All right, here we have the torque damper and clutch plate assembly that we gotta pull out. There's uh, three T26 or T25 uh, hex screws through the edge of this. And then we gotta pry this cover off right here. So now we're going to try to uh, pry the plate off from the starter area where the, uh, well actually where the, yeah, where the starter engages at over here. This may or may not work. We might dent this cover doing it, but that's apparently okay. Actually, what we're going to be looking at here is around the edge should be a snap ring in here that holds this whole torque damper in. However, we need to figure out how to get to that snap ring. So I want to bring you in for a closer view here. See where the two gaps meet? That's where we're uh, going to be pulling apart. That whole snap ring around the edge is there. And then this whole torque damper should just pop right out. You can put the cover back on and call it a day. Now, if I remember correctly, this should just pull right out. It's gonna be a little hard for me to get a hook on here, but that looks like it's gonna come right out. Just need to get a set of uh, hooks to pull it out with, and then I'll be right back. Actually, make use of this spongy cord that's right here. <laughs> Knock some of the crap off of it. Let's see if it probably just bend these. rubber tips on the end too so they don't fall down in there if we can like all right so this is the torque damper now if you now if you hold the plates and shake it you can hear all the springs there shouldn't be any movement on that down on the inside you can see the springs but it shouldn't shouldn't clang like that that's a sign that you got a bad torque damper on your SST but we got to send this out to get it rebuilt and we can put it back in here along with new clutch discs which are down in here we'll pull that clutch basket out at a later date to get that out for rebuild as of right now I'm just going to stick this cover back on here loosely along with the uh, snap ring on top of it and then we'll be good to go. Alright so I forgot to record the outro for this video so just enjoy some b-roll shots of my car and stay tuned for the next video.